Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope that you all are fine as well as healthy. We are learning biology, chapter number 13, organisms and populations. So in last video lecture, we have completed about the different type of responses to the different type of abiotic factors and in this video lecture we are going to learn about the different type of possibilities okay it means different type of responses so total four possibilities or total four responses or total four answers are there first one which is known as regulate second one which is known as conform third one which is known as migrate and fourth one which is known as suspend so in this video lecture out of four we will talk about the two different type of possibilities or the responses okay so two responses or possibilities will be covered in this video lecture and remaining two will be covered in the next video lecture but before starting today's video lecture we are going to revise the last question so last question was what last question was about the responses to the abiotic factors so see two words are there first one which is known as response and second one which is known as abiotic factor okay response means what response means one type of reaction response means one type of answer okay so if different type of questions or different type of situations or different type of actions will be performed by abiotic factors so if questions will be asked from the abiotic factors then answer or responses will be given by the particular living organisms and you know that the, there are main four major abiotic factors first one is temperature second one is water third one is soil and fourth one is light in the sense of sunlight okay so responses to abiotic factors so first point we know that that abiotic conditions of many means so many habitats may vary different drastically in time and two questions were there first question was like that like that how do the organisms living in such habitats copper manage with stressful conditions and second question was about the we can say that why a highly variable external environment should bother organisms after all and the answer of these two questions is very much important we can say that during the course means during the time of millions of years of their existence many species would have evolved a relatively constant internal see internal means within body environment that permits all biochemical reactions as well as physiological functions to proceed with maximum efficiency and thus enhance the overall fitness of the species it means in easy words we can say that in short we can say that with the or by over of so many years it means during the course of millions of years it means during the millions of years a species means different species of organisms have evolved means one type of evolution they are doing what they are doing one type of evolution in what in the internal in the internal physiological activities as well as biological reactions and because of this evolution because of this evolution they are able to do activities with maximum efficiency and which is overall known as the fitness of the species okay so some examples were also there optimum temperature and optic concentration of body fluids you know that body fluids is equal to blood plus or sorry blood as well as what blood as well as lymph these both are the examples of body fluid ideally then the organism should try to maintain the 
constancy of its internal environment and this process is known as homostasis type of condition homostasis type of process so this definition is also important okay and then if we go to the important sentence you know that suppose a person is able to perform his or her best when the temperature is 25 degree centigrade and wishes to maintain it so even when it is crouchingly hot or freezingly cold outside okay it could be achieved at home in car while traveling and at workplace by using ac in summer and heater in winter so then his or her performance would be always maximal regardless of the weather around him or her here we can say that the person's homeostasis will be completed is a completed not through the physiological activities but with the help of artificial means means we are using ac we are using heater so ac and heater are not product of nature they are one type of artificial machines and this figure was also important two words are there internal level and external level internal you will remember within body external you can say the outer side surrounding environment so three categories are there organisms are divided into different three categories first one we can say that about the conformers second one is about the regulators and third one is about the partially regulators so you will remember all three names and the lines means graphs of all different type of organisms and today we are going to learn about the some possibilities means some type of responses remember to regulate to conform to migrate and to suspend this all are what this all are one type of answers this all are one type of responses one type of reactions done by the living organisms against what against the different type of situations or condition occurred or the performed by the abiotic factors so we will start with the first one the first one is what first one is to regulate so we will use the same method of easy language knots so if we talk about the first response which is known as to regulate okay see first point we can say that some organisms are able to maintain homostasis conditions it means we are trying to say like this that some organisms wishes means are able they have ability to maintain what to maintain the homeostasis type of condition by what by physiological and behavioral means it means with the help of some type of physiological processes and processes which are connected with the behavior because of it or some examples are there constant body temperature and constant osmotic concentration will be maintained okay so total three things are there in first sentence we can say that organisms are able to maintain a very important condition which is known as homeostasis type of condition with the help of physiological as well as behavioral type of means and because of it or some example we can say that constant body temperature and constant osmotic concentration will be maintained so you will remember point number 1 see here some mcqs are also there all organisms are able to maintain what they all wants to maintain the homeostasis condition so underline the word homeostasis condition if we talk about the with uh, with the help of which methods or with the help of which processes this homeostasis condition will be maintained with the help of physiological and behavioral type of changes okay an example you will remember two examples are there first one is constant body temperature and constant osmotic concentration see constant body temperature and constant osmotic concentration indicate what they both indicate the homeostasis condition of a particular body of organism now see point number 2 we can say that some organisms are capable means are able of this type of regulations like thermoregulation and osmoregulation see two words are used in first one thermo 
थर्मो मीन्स कनेक्टेड विथ द हीट ओके एंड ओस्मो मीन्स ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर सो रेग्युलेशन ऑफ हीट विच इज नॉन एज थर्मो रेग्युलेशन मीन्स रेग्युलेशन ऑफ टेम्परेचर एज वेल एज ऑस्मोटिक रेग्युलेशन मीन्स ऑस्मो रेग्युलेशन सो सम ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर एबल टू डू रेग्युलेशन्स लाइक थर्मो रेग्युलेशन्स एज वेल एज ऑस्मो रेग्युलेशन्स इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल्स आर दे आर ऑल बर्ड्स मीन्स एव्स ओके ऑल मेमल्स very few lower vertebrates see here we are talking about the lower vertebrates means hemichordates urochordates as well as cephalochordates you know that the hemichordates urochordates and cephalochordates belongs to the group which is known as acraniata or protochordata so you will write here protochordata or the acraniata and fourth one will be what fourth one will be the invertebrates so in second point some again mcqs and examples are there again if we revise the second point some organisms are able to do two types of regulation first one which is known as thermo regulation and second one which is known as osmo regulation if we talk about the examples of organisms which are capable to do thermo and osmo regulation you will remember birds mammals very few lower vertebrates as well as invertebrates now point number 3 we can say that according to evolutionary biologist success of mammal is largely because of their ability to maintain a constant body temperature see if we talk about the mammals you know that nowadays mammals are one type of successive or the successful organism found on the entire earth so the one reason behind the success of the mammal will be what will be the they have ability to maintain constant body temperature so underline this thing ability to maintain a constant body temperature it means mammals are able to maintain their body temperature it so that's why mammals are able to survive in different type of places mammals are also able to survive in desert of rajasthan as well as in usa as well as in germany as well as in poland so mammals are able to survive everywhere in different type of habitats okay why because of they because of their ability to maintain a constant body temperature so point number 3 is also important according to word you will underline according to evolutionary biologists I mean some type of scientists of biology which are connected with the evolution okay success of mammals is largely because of their ability to maintain a constant body temperature so we can say that the first page is completed so again we are going to revise this first page to regulate first point we can say that some organisms are able to maintain a one important condition which is known as homeostasis type of condition with the help of some processes which are connected with the physiology as well as their behavior for example with the help of homeostasis condition constant body temperature and constant osmotic concentration will be maintained point number 2 some organisms are capable of doing some type of regulations like thermo regulations as well as osmo regulation if we talk about the examples we can say all birds then mammals very few lower vertebrate and and invertebrate okay so four names are there you will remember this four name four names birds mammals very few lower vertebrates and invertebrates are capable to do what to do thermo and osmo regulation point number 3 according to what according to evolutionary biologists success of mammal is largely because of their ability to maintain a constant body temperature so here the first page is over now if we talk about the second page see and able to survive whether they live in antarctica or sahara desert you know that mammals are able to live in different type of places okay without changing their internal body temperature see remember the outer temperature means the environment or the temperature of particular place found in 
found in antarctica and sahara desert will be different for example you can say that in antarctica temperature will be sub zero means it may be minus 15 or minus 10 degree centigrade but mammals are able to survive while in sahara desert temperature will be more than 45 degree centigrade then humans or mammals are able to survive so mammals will not change their internal body temperature okay now see point number 4 the mechanism used by most mammals to regulate their body temperature are similar to the ones that we humans use it means it is one type of comparison see if we are going to compare what and what if we are going to compare humans and mammals so in one hand we have only one species which is humans human beings and in, on other hands we have the all remaining mammals so if we compare the style of both then we can say that the style of the regulation of their body temperature will be similar it means the mechanism used by the all mammals to regulate their body temperature are similar to the ones that we human use means mammals and humans are using the same mechanism for what for the maintaining or regulating body temperature so some mcqs will be asked from th this sentence or this point what and what comparison is between what and what comparison is between mammals and humans okay so remember comparison will be between mammals and humans comparison will uh, is for what comparison is for what comparison is for the mechanism for the regulation of the body temperature and what about the conclusion it will be similar or different then the mechanism will be similar point number 5 we means right in bracket we means humans we maintain a constant body temperature of the 37 degree centigrade so underline the word 37 degree centigrade okay so point number 5 important mcq 37 degree centigrade remember 37 degree centigrade is a internal body temperature okay so you will remember if we talk about the humans then internal body temperature will be 37 degree centigrade and if question will be asked like that in which temperature humans are able to work with maximum efficiency then temperature will be 25 because if outer surrounding environment having 25 degree centigrade temperature then humans are able to do work with their maximum efficiency point number 6 if we talk about the summer in summer when outside temperature is more than our body temperature see basically we can say that it is true in summer temperature of temperature of outside means outer temperature will be higher or more than our body temperature because our body temperature is only 37 degree centigrade while in the case of summer the body temperature sorry the outer temperature will be more than 45 or it may be 50 if you are living in rajasthan then we sweat okay so formation of sweat will be there the resulting evaporative cooling similar to what happens with a desert cooler in operation brings down the body temperature okay see so what will be the meaning of this sentence is you know that the sweat sweat will be performed okay sweat will be means pasina sweat will be performed and because of this it is one type of evaporative process and which give one type of cooling like a cooler found in the desert okay and with the help of this sweat temperature of body or the body temperature decreases or going down so it is one type of mechanism which is performed by our body only in the summer season okay so this page is also completed again we are going to revise you know that the humans are able to survive in different type of places point number 4 if we talk about the mechanism of regulating body temperature then this mechanism will be similar between what and what between humans as well as as well as all remaining mammals then we humans are able to maintain a constant body temperature of 37 degree centigrade in summer 
द टेम्परेचर ऑफ आउटर साइड विल बी हायर देन अवर इनर बॉडी टेम्परेचर रिमेम्बर अवर इनर बॉडी टेम्परेचर विल बी ओनली थर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड वाइल आउटर आउटर साइड मीन्स आउटर एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट हैविंग द मोर देन फोर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड देन स्वेट विल बी फॉर्म्ड एंड विच इज वन टाइप ऑफ प्रोसेस ऑफ इवापोरेशन एंड इट विल गिवस वॉट इट विल गिवस कूलिंग लाइक कूलर फाउंड इन द डेजर्ट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस प्रोसेस और दिस मेकेनिज्म टेम्परेचर ऑफ बॉडी विल बी डिक्रीजेस ओके सो दिस पेज इज ऑल्सो कंप्लीटेड एंड नैव इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द लास्ट two points or the last page of this question okay see so things about the or talks about the summer is completed if we talk about the winter in winter when the temperature is much lower than 37 degrees centigrade you know that the sometimes in winter the temperature will be 15 or the 20 or 25 degrees centigrade okay so in winter when the temperature is much lower than 37 degrees centigrade we start to shiver it is one type or kind of exercise which produce the heat and raise the body temperature okay in winter what is condition in winter the condition is that the temperature of the environment is lower compared to our body so we we want what we wants to raise our body temperature okay to survive so we are start doing or the we start doing the different type of exercise and because of exercise energy or heat will be formed and if energy or heat will be formed then raise means increasing increases in the body temperature so opposite things are occurred in the summer as well as winter because both seasons having the opposite temperatures now very important point point number 8 see here if we talk about the plants so plants on the other hand do not have such mechanisms to maintain internal temperatures it means you know the animals means humans means mammals having different type of mechanisms they are able to survive in different type of conditions different type of habitats different type of regions different type of parts of the country while we can say that if we talk about the plants and you know that locomotion is not possible in the case of plants so plants do not have any mechanism okay plants do not have any mechanism to maintain their internal temperature so it is a one liner question which of the following organism do not have any mechanism of maintaining internal temperature the answer will be what answer will be plants so this question is 100% completed here now we will talk about this question from the textbook okay so see first point regulate some organisms are able to maintain homeostasis by underlying physiological underlying sometime behavioral also means which ensure first one is constant body temperature and second one is constant osmotic concentration now see some examples are there first one is birds second one is mammals third one is very few lower vertebrates and fourth one is invertebrate species are indeed capable of such regulations like thermoregulation and osmoregulation okay so now see the next sentence according to what evolutionary biologist believed that the success of mammals is largely because of their ability to maintain a constant body temperature and three whether they live in antarctica or in the sahara desert okay now see last paragraph the mechanisms used by most mammals to regulate their body temperature are similar to the ones that we human use okay it means the mechanism will be similar between humans and mammals means humans and all remaining mammals are using the same mechanism for maintaining their internal body temperature we maintain a constant body temperature of 37 degrees centigrade in summer when outside 
टेम्परेचर इज मोर देन अवर बॉडी अंडरलाइन मोर देन अवर बॉडी टेम्परेचर वी स्वेट ओके तो रिजल्टिंग एवापोरेटिव कोलिंग विच इज सिमिलर टू वॉट हैपन्स विथ द डेजर्ट कोलर इन ऑपरेशन ब्रिंग्स डाउन बिकॉज ऑफ इट ब्रिंग्स डाउन द बॉडी टेम्परेचर नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द विंटर इन विंटर वेन द टेम्परेचर इज मच लोअर then 37 degree centigrade we start to shiver which is a one type of exercise which produce heat and raise the body temperature okay if we talk about the plants you know the plants are not able to do locomotion okay so plants are not doing migration plants are not going from one place to another place okay so in whole life span of plant plant will be motile at only and only one place okay it means if we talk about the plants plants do not have such type of mechanism to maintain their internal temperature okay so you will remember this type of mechanism is not found in the plants okay sorry plants are non motile means they are not able to do locomotion so this is the first response which is known as regulation so this response of regulation is completed completed here and in this now in this video lecture we will talk about the second one so second response or second reaction or second answer will be migrate okay to migrate so you know the migration is one type of process okay so if we talk about the first point about the migration the organisms can move away temporarily from the stressful habitat to a more hospitable means suitable favorable area and return when stressful period is over it means some organism can move away okay underline can move away not for the permanent okay but for the temporarily the stressful habitat means some organisms are moving from the stressful habitat okay for the short time for the temporary time and they will go to the suitable or the favorable or hospitable area and when the stressful condition of the first area will be finished then they will come back again okay so it is one type of process which is known as migration for example humans having this type of strategy of migration means humans are using this strategy so migration is what see migration is one type of response migration is one type of answer so it is one type of strategy so you can say that humans having this type of strategy so humans are using this type of strategy now see in next page we have one example in point number 3 okay we will see how humans are using this strategy for example humans moving from delhi to shimla for the duration of summer okay if we talk about the month of april and may so you know that the april and may both are the month of summer season so in delhi region or in delhi city or in new delhi city the temperature will be very higher and pollution will be also there so humans are doing what humans are moving humans are moving to the simla which is located in the cold place okay located in the himachal pradesh simla for the duration of summer so people living in delhi are going to the simla not permanent okay but for the temporary time for the 15 days or the 20 days or for a duration of vacation so it is one type of strategy which is used by humans so you will remember this now if we talk about the point number 4 many animals particularly birds okay so underline this birds during winter undertake long distance migrations to more hospitable areas you know that the birds showing the maximum migrations because birds having what birds having wings so birds are able to move easily from the one country to other country birds are easily able to travel okay because they having the wings so if we talk about the point number 5 so point number 5 is see important in every winter the famous kevla dev national park which is located in the bharatpur city of the rajasthan state host 
thousands of migratory birds coming from the Siberia and other extremely cold northern regions. Okay, see what is condition? These birds are the, or the native place of birds will be Siberia and other extremely cold northern regions. So in winter the temperature will be what the temperature of Siberia and other northern regions will be minus 25 or minus 30. Okay. So the birds choose uh, another option of the migration. So birds from Siberia are coming to what? Coming to the India. In which state? State will be Rajasthan. City will be Bharatpur. And the name of national park will be Kevladev National Park. So, okay. So you will remember this point number 5. Point number 5 is important and so many MCQs are there. Okay. In which season? In season of winter. Which national park? Kevladev National Park. City will be Bharatpur. State will be Rajasthan and thousand of migratory birds so what will be the native place native place of migratory birds will be siberia and other extremely cold northern regions so this question is completed here and now we will talk about the this question from the textbook okay see title is migration or the migrate the organisms can move away temporarily from the stressful habitat to a more hospitable means what means favorable suitable area and return when stressful period is over in you in human analogy this strategy is like a person moving from Delhi to Simla for the duration of summer okay many animals particularly birds underline round birds during winter undertake long distance migration to more hospitable areas and last point very important every winter the famous Kevladev National Park located in Bharatpur city in the state of Rajasthan host thousands of migratory birds coming from Siberia and other extremely cold northern regions okay so two processes or two responses are completed first one was what first one was about the regulation and second one is about the migration so two processes are completed and remaining two processes or possibilities or the responses will be covered in the next video lecture so this video lecture is completed here thank you very much